Walk to Don't the... Don't touch me! Stop. Stop. Don't touch me! Stop. Just get him off me! Why are you doing that? You don't get to strike police, get him off that's me. why. Get him off me! Get him off me! Get him off me! A common yet serious incident in the legal system is DUI, driving under the influence, offense, which involves operating a vehicle while under the influence of alcohol and or drugs. Today, we will review some of the most prominent faces of this type of crime. Go ahead and put your hands behind your back. So you're being placed under arrest for driving under the influence of intoxicating liquor and or drugs at okay, Ariana. First, let's delve into the scenario of apprehending an underage girl for DUI. A police officer pulled over a speeding car, but as he approached the driver, things became more complicated. A DUI check was promptly conducted. I'm pulling you over. That's because you're having extremely hard time maintaining your lane of travel. You're speeding. Where are you coming from? The apartment in Santoseo. My apartment's literally right here. Can we get you meet me back here? Yeah. Let's watch your step real quick. Okay. That's fine. How much did you have to drink tonight? Literally like two shots. Okay. Let me just uh, fix my vehicle real quick. I'm going to make sure that you're ready to drive and if everything is good, we'll be good to go, okay? The field sobriety test will include horizontal gaze nystagmus test. Next is the walk and turn test. And finally, the one leg stand test. Do you think Ariana can pass these tests? Let's continue to follow her journey. Do you have any sort of head injuries? No, I don't. Anything that prevents you from walking, turning, standing on one leg? No, sir. So go ahead and stand on that line again and face me. This? Okay, go ahead and stand right here, Ariana. Okay, so on this part, you're going to be walking, turning, and then standing on one leg. Did you want to stay in those sandals? I can stay in the sandals. Okay, I want you to put your left foot on that line where it is, and your right foot in front of your left like this, heel the toe. Mm -hmm. Like right in front of the other? Yes, exactly. And then your hands at your side. Okay, just stay there until I tell you to do otherwise. Okay, Ariana, you understand? Yes, sir. You're going to take a series of short, small steps and return back on that line. Nine steps, okay? One, two, three. I did three. You're going to do nine. Come around in a series of short, small steps like this. Okay? And you're going to go back. One, two, three. No, I So put your feet back like this again and your hands at your side. For this next part, you're going to take the foot of your choosing, either your right or your left foot. You're going to hold it parallel to the ground six inches. You're going to look at the tip of the foot that you raised and you're going to count aloud so I can hear you until I tell you to stop, okay? Any questions? No, sir. Just Go. tell me when. Go ahead and start whenever you're ready. 1006, 1007, 7, 8. Tell you, tell you, stop. Okay, go ahead and stop, Ariana. Okay, go ahead and put your shoes back on. Passing the test proved too difficult as she had consumed a total of two drinks. Let's go to my vehicle real quick, Ariana. Go ahead and put your hands behind your back. So you're being placed under arrest for driving under the influence of toxicating liquor and or drugs, okay, Ariana? Officer, my apartment is literally right there. I can see my apartment from here. Okay, I understand. You're under arrest for driving under the influence of intoxicating drugs and or liquor. Requires you to submit to a breath test to determine the alcohol, alcohol content of your blood. Is it an opportunity to arrange for a physician, a licensed nurse, or laboratory technician or technologist who is employed by a hospital? Do you agree to take our test? Yes, sir. You got your tongue? Lift it up. Say ah. Uh. Ah. Okay. Do you have anything in your pockets? So what's going to happen, you're being placed under arrest, like I told you, for driving under the, under the influence of toxicating liquor and or drugs. Your vehicle's going to get beep. We're going to do the breath machine there, and then you'll be going down to the prisoner transportation center, okay? I'll explain everything as we do it, okay? I understand, officer, but like I said, my apartment is literally right there. I understand, And I know it's not okay to drive under It's not. I don't drink and drive, officer. I really don't. My apartment, like I said, is literally right How old are you? You're only 20, right? She was charged with DUI and speeding. It's ironic how intoxicated individuals, when caught, often insist to the police that they haven't been drinking and just want to go home. 
This young girl needs judicial supervision to stay sober until adulthood. What do you think about this opinion? Yeah, go ahead and stand up. Put your mouth around that and give a nice, steady, good, firm breath in there, okay? Keep going, go, 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 go. Okay, go ahead and relax a minute and then I'll have you go one more time, okay? Point one eight. So you'll do one more. You do it the same. All right, forget about that petite girl. I'm reacting because I'm not because trying I'm to mistreat you. To I'm not time. like trying to make you feel no, bad. Me, please, me... And now we're moving on to a cocky, foul mouthed woman cursing out the police. I'm giving you a citation Ugh. for not having your passenger, your passenger failing to wear his seatbelt. On January 1st, after pulling over a car due to suspicion that the owner's registration had been suspended, the police officer approached the vehicle to confirm the information, but what he received was a barrage of vulgar insults from the driver. Well, the reason you really why don't I'm have anything better to do on New Year's Eve when there's all these mother Get that out my eyes. Who has a suspended driver's license? Oh, I got a suspended driver's license, but you could pull somebody over drinking and driving, right? Okay, can I have your ID? No, no don't find anything. anything. I don't give a f and your buddy back there can bring his dog. You guys do this to me anytime. I've never you met stop. you before. Please. How did you see that if you're on the other side of the parking lot and then drove around my vehicle, then drove around again? Okay, you know what? I don't Who's need to the you. You're not wearing a seatbelt. Who get, and neither the f am I. Neither am I. I don't know that. Oh, well. Quit talking to me. Have you been drinking tonight? No. Breathalyze this. Breathalyze this. Get it. Get it. How do and I I'm know? Not on your eyes are washing. Wasted your time. I don't actually. I think I do smell weed. You do? Search it, I told you, f***er. Get your dog. That's so when you dig through my car, that don't find nothing, and then have to give me a ticket for suspended license. How much have you had to drink already? Not breathalyze me. I'm not talking to you no more. All right, I'll be right back. Based on the arrogant attitude of the female driver refusing to provide her identity and admitting she doesn't possess a valid driver's license. According to the law, when asked to provide identification, the driver is required to state their true identity or receive a simple $10 fine ticket. Let me ask you something, sir. Do you have a valid driver's license? No. No? So neither of you are leaving here then until... Also. What? I can walk away. You are detained. How? You're getting a citation. That's you're not, not being going detained. anywhere. That's not being detained. Yeah, you're not leaving. Okay, well, when you're... Driver's license. Otherwise, I was going to write it. I was going to say with him is... I well, I didn't write him a citation. I was going to write it to her but instead of. After the police officer returned, the woman continued to display her disrespectful attitude towards the police. You need to stop talking. Me Step out of the vehicle. No reason. Step out. Come here. I'm going to talk to you back here. No. Walk to the front of that car, please. I just want to know. You're just... reacting. Because I'm not because trying I'm to mistreat you. To I'm not time. like trying to make you feel no, bad. No, listen to me. Please let me finish. Crackheads, meth heads, alcoholics, people with so much stuff that if you pulled them over driving or they had drugs or they were doing something bad, okay. but why pull Well, you physically told me you're smoking pot all, weed all the time. Actually, I do smell weed now. You know you don't. You don't smell weed. You don't smell alcohol. I haven't been drinking. Okay, for That's one fine. thing. I have daddy issues and I don't like men. I don't trust them. Listen. I have PTSD. Do not talk to me like that. Go on this far down. or be to where it is People right now. Held down by if, you guys you to have choked a, out. if you could at least have the slightest bit, you would do. just walk to the front of that car. You would physically hurt me. You would hold I'm me not down. going to. You, but if I try I'm to not even going to touch you. Thought it's very clear. Both individuals show contempt for the law and refuse to cooperate with the police officer. I have a camera that's also in my car that I've never observed either one of you removing a seatbelt. Therefore, you weren't wearing one. It's the violation. Yeah, I saw you at Quick Trip. I ran her plate. I saw that she was suspended as a registered owner of the vehicle. Aaron Sorts. Irving. 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 Sarah goes on. Call it in right now so I can tell you how it is. And tonight you're out in fours. Why? And tonight you're out in fours. Why? How much weed is in the car? There's no. I can smell it. Okay. If you can smell it, then you need to get your nose checked. No. I don't care to search the whole vehicle. Honestly, I don't want to look in the dang vehicle. No, you're not going anywhere. You guys might as well start calling for a ride. I don't, I don't know. Okay, I'm going to have you step forward and hang out with that officer. Finally, Nicole was released and charged with not wearing a seatbelt while driving during the suspension period. She was also charged with failure to require passengers to wear seatbelts. Permission, not him. No, you know, I don't need permission. Because the more I talk to him, have my head in the car, I can definitely smell marijuana. What? Irvin, do you want to try to call somebody? Because you guys aren't driving out of yeah, here. Guess what? My uncle lives two houses up. I'm pushing my car. Why do you have a hatchet in your door? 
I can have whatever the I want in my door. I can have a gun in my door. Okay, thanks. That's all I wanted to hear. And I'm going to write you for obstructing for not Please giving me do. your ID. Please do. There's a court date and time up here at the top. You do not have to appear. It's going to be a deposit of $200.50. I'm giving you a citation Ugh. for not having your passenger or your passenger failing to wear his seatbelt. Thank you. Have a nice night. Yeah, you better figure out a way to get your car somewhere because you're not driving. I'm going to push it to where when there's all these mother Get that out my eyes. Do you think the charges Nicole received are appropriate for her actions? She should be charged with obstructing police investigation and contempt of law enforcement. Do you think these charges should be applied? Please leave your opinion in the comments below. The next case we have is a 29-year-old woman arrested for DUI after multiple calls for her parents' help. Hello? Mom, you're arresting me! Then you gotta... What? I don't know! <laughs> On September 4th, in Hoboken, while a police officer was riding a parking summons after finding a car blocking the driveway. A woman approached him and reported that the female driver ahead was intoxicated, prompting him to exit the vehicle and investigate immediately. You been drinking tonight? Um, I had one glass of wine. Why? You were swerving? I'm fine. Do you have your license on you? I'm fine, honestly. Got in a fight with my boyfriend. I just want to go home. We, we were supposed to be engaged, and she's been cheating on me with his first girlfriend. Honestly, like, uh, I'm trying to, like, my cousin lives on. And I would, I'll keep my car here, and I'll just go to. So we, we got a phone call that your car was blocking the driveway. Your bumper is overlapping. The line of the driver. As he began interacting with the driver, he noticed her slurred speech and apparent lack of balance. Brittany admitted to having had a drink earlier, but denied being under the influence. Do I seem this drunk? No. You don't, but I have someone. I'm very upset. I have I have somebody coming that feels the body that that would know. I thought right here is like the garage. Like I'm so sorry. Just hold on a second, all right? We got we got to, we're situated in a second, all right? My family lives here. As long as you're not blocking the driveway, you're fine. Give it a yes, no. I know it's a block. I know I'm here for a block So what happened was we're here for a block driveway. And I mean, she was in the car. She didn't. With my doctor, Lee, the father, driving. the mayor of Sadder River. Oh, ma'am, I just. I am ma sorry that I had a hard day. But your bumper was overlapping the line of the right driveway. Here. I understand that. I, I don't say that, but it's... I don't understand why a grown adult like her couldn't handle her own problem. She called her father, Dr. Jeffrey Leva, and the police had to speak with him for further discussion. I understand, but I don't understand why. Because I'm not even in the garage. Dad? They're trying, because my car, and they want to, they have one, two, three, four, five cops here. Dr. Leva. Dr. Leva, yeah. Dr. Leva, sir, my name is Officer Roy. The initial officer, I um, your daughter was in the vehicle and it, it, was, it was on. Vehicle was not on because it's a fog. Yeah, that has been. So when the vehicle is on, it's technically op being operated technically through like the state law. We're going to have to go based off of the initial officer's observation. If I conduct the test and she passes, I want my lawyer. It was, it's parked properly, but it's partially in the driveway, which was lawyer. the initial call right sobriety now, officer. I want my Again, lawyer. Again, I was not the initial officer on scene. Well, she decides not to, I mean, she wasn't driving. I got out of the car crying because my boyfriend cheated. So I'm just explaining to you because I know you, I, she's upset, more than willing to answer those questions for you to the best well, of my she ability. Refuses, if, she do the test. if she doesn't want to, that's not my my look like that's not my call because i wasn't the initial officer your father wants to speak dad i was crying in the car the car was not on we wouldn't tell the car because it's it, and it's, it's legally it's an, it, parked like i said i explained and i explained to your father gonna come pick me up 
um, I refuse any test. I'm calling my lawyer. Okay. I already spoke to your father, and uh, you know I've been respectful. Can I speak to your officer again, please? Car is legally parked right now. The, okay, the, like well, I, I said, I can go pick up the car. Correct. If you want to pick up the car, that's perfectly fine. To the driveway, but like I said, I wasn't the Not initial even. officer for this original calling. I'm the certified officer that conducts okay, the so series of one three fourteen three in Hoboken, yeah. New Jersey. Here, let me write that down. <laughs> Despite being offered several opportunities to perform sobriety tests at the scene, Brittany ultimately refused to undergo them. I need to speak to my lawyer. Okay, well, I'm gonna ask you, are you willing to uh, conduct the uh, sobriety test with this officer? But can you just answer my supervisor's question, please? You, you can say yes I'm or no. No. Okay. No? Okay. All right, so Joe, it's Based on slurred speech, lack of balance, and her refusal to perform sobriety tests at the scene, officers arrested Brittany for driving under the influence. Subsequently, the police officers transported Brittany to the Hoboken Police Department for processing. Wait. Can you please turn around for me? Just speak to my lawyer. Yeah, gave you plenty of No, you didn't. She even said you okay. were. Miss, you gotta turn around. Hello? Mom, okay, you're mama. arresting me. Man, you gotta what? I don't know. Man, man, man. Mama. Man, stop resisting. Man, man, just, you're you're gonna get the phone back, back man. Okay? Why? Man, man, man. Why? Relax. Just Relax. breathe. Relax. Why? What am I being arrested for? Like, no, I wasn't. You have that. Right. No, I wasn't. Okay. No, I wasn't. Do you have video of that? Uh, no, I wasn't. Body cameras. You'll be on first off. Of I asked to talk to my lawyer. That's fine. You can do that, but you still no, have to. No, but I asked to talk to my lawyer before. Okay. Listen, can you follow me, please? Where's the, where's the keys to the car? Okay. No, I didn't refuse. I didn't refuse. Just let me do the surprise. Test. We're past that point already. Come on, you gotta go inside. Come on, man. Wildlife. All right, we got one thing. Come on, here. She refused to submit to a breathalyzer test at the police department. She was charged with driving under the influence, refusal to chemical test, agreeing to breath sample, reckless driving and improper parking in front of a driveway. Miss, can you please stand up? I have to take uh, the cuffs and do another search, please. Can you face the glass? When I release one hand, you're going to put it right on. Face me, please. Open your mouth. Thumb up. Two. Clear your sandal one at a time. You'll get them right back. It's just part of our protocols and procedures. <laughs> Just one sandal at a time? I have nothing, I promise. Probably like a good 35 minute drive. Your dad already said that he was gonna uh, be on his way down here. I don't understand what I did. I'm gonna explain it to you in a second. Just give me one second. Sorry, I'm doing anything wrong. Let's move on to the next case, a feisty young woman. Fuck don't her. touch me, please. Don't touch me. Walk to don't the f touch me. Stop. Stop. Don't touch me. On July 1st, in the town of Warren, Wisconsin, the police quickly arrived at the scene of the accident after receiving reports from residents about a collision near their driving route. See some lacerations to her shins. The responders quickly extricated the sole occupant from the vehicle, identified as Cassandra, who appeared visibly shaken after the accident. She was promptly taken for medical evaluation afterward. Okay. Do you have a driver's license inside the yeah, car somewhere? Yeah. I can, I'll get it, I'll get it. Just, yeah. where is it at in there? It should be on the right side. Dude, she got a guardian angel hitting this gap. Yeah. Oh my god. According to Cassandra's statement, she had consumed a few beers at a gathering at a friend's house, and this is claimed to be the primary cause of the accident. No longer displaying the initial fearfulness, the girl turned belligerent and took on the role of a rebellious student, disrupting the surrounding staff. Do you have any weapons nope. on you of any sorts? No. Nope. Put your hands, nope. up, put your hands nope. right here. No, 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 no. Stop moving. Put your hands right here. I don't give a put your hands on top of your head. Face me. Face me. Would you uh, consent to do field sobriety exercises? Oh my god, go right ahead. You would do them? Who gives a f Is that a dumbass Wisconsin ass f***ing cop question? Yeah. Put your hands on top of your head, please. 
Cassandra, were you the only one in your vehicle? What do you think? What the f do you think? Well, you're the only one when we got to yep, you. I'm so asking what do you did think? anyone else yeah, get thrown so out of there? Think? So what do you think? Yep. You did you have any crash, alcohol right? since you what crashed? What do you think? What do you guys think? Did you have any nope, alcohol since you crashed? Nope, that would be a no. That would be a no. Okay. Little idiot. Perfect. Due to her defiant attitude, the police had to take her to another location to conduct sobriety tests. While Cassandra agreed to undergo the tests, getting her to comply was another matter entirely. Hey, let's walk over here. We're going to go on flat ground. Pigs. Stop talking. Come over here. Yeah, We're going to walk over to flat ground. Pigs. Where are we going? All right, stop right there. Check welfare. Walk over here. Walk over here. Ugly. I want you to follow my finger with your eyes and your eyes only. I just had a lazy eye surgery. Follow my finger with your eyes Sounds and your eyes like only. Sounds like a Wisconsin cop. Sounds like a Wisconsin Wait. cop. I don't give a f because what you Put just your hands said. to your sides. Hands to your sides. Follow my finger with your eyes and your eyes only. Ready? Hey, what? <laughs> Keep following oh, it. Keep your hands on your sides. Don't hold on to your pants. I just passed it nope. six times. Put your hands at your sides. I did. No, they're not at your sides right now. Next test is going to be the walk and turn test, okay? Okay. So what I want you to do, I want you to face this way. Keep your hands right at your sides. You're going to take nine heel to toe steps down like this. One, two, three, touching your heel to your toe each time. And when you get to your ninth step, you're going to do a series of short choppy steps to turn around just like this. You sound like an info mark. All right, I'll explain it one more time. So, Can you do it, please? 10 times slower. This time, ma'am, you're gonna put your left foot forward and your right foot right in front of it. Let's do that right now because you're not in the position that I asked you to. You're gonna take nine heel to toe steps down. One, two, all the way to nine. You'll do a series of short, choppy steps going like this. Then you bring it back to heel to toe and you'll do nine back. All right, if you understand the test, go ahead and do so. So this this time, ma'am. Yeah, did I not say the alphabet backwards either? <laughs> so put, put, put your feet together just like this. Keep your hands down your sides the whole time. I know that's confusing. So <laughs> keep your hands down your sides the whole time. I know that's confusing. So <laughs> I hope you come in the clinic one can day you, and I'll can you do this test. Are you able to do this test or are you unable to do it? Or Somerset or fucking New Would you like to complete the test or would you like no, to fail the you test? Like you're gonna fail me anyway. Put your hands I, at your sides. I walk straight. If you can't put your hands at your sides, you have to fail this portion of the test. No. I'm gonna look down at my foot and I'm gonna count one one thousand, two one thousand, three one thousand until I tell you to start. Okay, so you don't start yet. You are so entitled. So, you are so entitled. So for demonstrative purposes, I'm using my right leg. You get to use any of your legs. I need you to do it though. Because Otherwise you have to fail this portion of the you. test. Do you understand this test? I understand the instructions. Okay, then go ahead and do so. <laughs> wow, Jesus Christ. 1, 2, 3, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Cassandra only changed her defiant attitude when she realized the severity of her actions. She was arrested for driving under the influence, DUI, second offense, second offense operating while intoxicated, OWI, resisting arrest, unsafe lane deviation, and failure to maintain vehicle control. Cassandra was placed in a police vehicle to be transported to the hospital for blood testing, then taken straight to jail. Submit to a preliminary breathalyzer test. No! Uh, okay, for, turn around. Do I need to? Do I need to? You don't have to. I, I'm asking you if you would. <gasps> what if I don't? Then you don't. No, but say yes I or no. get taken away if I don't? Say yes or no to the PBT. It's not admissible in court, it's just another <laughs> test that we do to gauge where you're at right now. So, let me know, would you like to do the test or not? I'm saying if I say no, we're going to take me in the back of the squad car. But I'm giving you the opportunity to do a preliminary breath test to see where you're at. Would you like to do a test or not? So, Shut up! So what do you okay, do? put your hands behind your back. You're me! Okay. You're, I don't get what you're telling me! No, it's, it's super simple. You either take the test or you don't. You're under arrest for operating while okay, well impaired, okay, second tell offense. Tell me Wisconsin police, but tell me Wisconsin police. We're going to head down to the hospital here. You didn't, stay you right didn't there. even just tell stay, me my just shit! Just stay right there. Just stay right there. You didn't even tell me what the just you were telling me, bitch! Don't her. touch me, please. Don't touch me. Walk to don't the Don't touch me. Okay. Stop. Stop. Don't touch me. Stop. Just get him off car. me. Why are you doing that? You don't get to strike police. Get him off That's me. why. Get him off me. Get him off me. Get him off me. Oh, stop it. Please, please. Please! Uh, I need you to stop doing what you're, you're doing. Hurting and my get arm. In the, don't listen to me. You're gonna get in the squad car and stop acting violent, okay? I <laughs> Alright, see you at the hospital. According to additional information from the police, she continued to resist after arriving at the hospital, kicking hospital staff and equipment. Her blood test results showed an ethanol concentration of 0.218.
All her charges were dismissed, and she was convicted only of OWI second offense. I think this rebellious girl should have her driver's license revoked to prevent future dangers. Perhaps in the future, she might not crash into a row of trees, but someone on the road, which is terrifying. If you agree with this additional penalty, please comment, yes, otherwise, comment, no. I didn't fing fail that test. Tell me how many What do you think if you get arrested for DUI right in front of your house? Let's dive into this case. On March 27th, Mary was pulled over by the police for questioning after someone called to report her erratic driving behavior. We'll get out um, until we uh, can kind of get through this. He pulled me over for I was stopped at the stop sign. I don't know. He was so, coming from the left side. I don't know. He, he is, I, am, I, I was just going to explain. Kyle, he's got to back out. Do you mind just moving my car over so he can back? This is your car right here. So I apologize, sir. Um, so anyway, so we got an erratic driver call. I just came from here. the nail salon. Okay. I went from Burger King to, from the nail salon to home. Medford Township Police received a call from an erratic driver in the area of the Acme. Absolutely. Okay, and whoever called that in, describe the vehicle. They matched it with your registration. Okay, that's fine. All right, so describe the vehicle. They matched it with your registration. Okay, that's fine. All right, so that's just, that's all. That's, that's all I'm doing is to come out. Okay, where did you get your nails done? Orchard nails. No, I could pull it up on my GPS. Hold on one sec. I don't know exactly because I used to go to Hollywood in uh, Westfield Avenue. Okay. Mary kept talking about her nail salon business and paid no attention to the information mentioned by the police. I went for my nails. There's a Burger King right in the spot. I got Burger King for the kids and I came back because my husband has to go to work. I came from the Burger King and then I came down like maybe Hartford Road. I usually get my nails done. I used to get my nails on Hollywood Nails and Westville okay. Avenue. And this is like the second or third time I've gone to them. Okay. All right. Yeah. From, so, from your perspective, in your opinion, you didn't operate the vehicle erratically. You didn't like, like, you didn't like swear off the road no, into the shoulder all. onto the grass. No, not like at that. all. Okay. You're good. I, I, I believe you. <laughs> New Jersey Great. 70. Okay. I'll be right back with you. All right. Just, just, hang, just stay in the car for me. All right? She always cooperated cheerfully with the police requests. But will everything go smoothly? Let's see her reaction during the sobriety test. Yes, sir. Please, thank you. Absolutely. These are, these are balance. Oh my God, I know all of you. So, Mary, these are balance tests. It is. Okay. A little, it is a little no, no, it's fine. So if you want no, to use. We'll get the speakers. Ready to test. Um, can you get my Nike? They're in the box. Red up red on board. the top shelf to the left. Like I said, we just want to make you comfortable to go through these tests. No, no, no. no. I'm fine, guys. So, all right. Just gonna step over here in front of my car, okay? Up. All right, and then you can face me, okay? Face you? You can face me. All right, so we're gonna do three tests, okay? I'm gonna do the first two tests, okay? Sure. The first test is the, the walk and turn test, yep. okay? So at first, I'm gonna explain the test, then I'm gonna demonstrate the test, and then I'm gonna ask you to demonstrate yep. the test, okay? Get your right foot back, left foot in front, with your heel to toe stuff touching. Straighten your, straighten your feet out so they're in a straight line, okay? You're crooked, I'm trying to do exactly what you say. Okay, that, okay. that's fine, Left right? to front. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take nine heel to toe steps forward. You're gonna take nine heel to toe steps forward in a straight line with your hands at your sides, okay? Got you. Nine, nine forward, turn around, nine back. Okay. All right, I'm going to demonstrate, okay? Hands at your gotcha. sides. One, two, three, eight, nine. Right? Heel to toe touching on every step. Turn. Turn around. One. Do you have any questions about no. the test? All right, you can begin the test when you're ready. Two, three, four, well, five, and <clears throat> hold on. Eight, keep going. I can't give you any more instruction. I've been more five. than clear. Four, well, five, six, <clears throat> 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Now go nine back, right? One, two, three, nine. Keep going. All right, here, we're going to do the second test, okay? Just come back over here for me. You're going to choose one leg, whichever one you're more comfortable with, and you're going to lift it approximately six inches off the ground. You're going to count out loud one 1,000, two 1,000, three 1,000. You're going to keep counting until I tell you to stop, okay? Okay. I'm gonna choose my right leg. You can choose whichever leg you're more comfortable with, okay? One 1,000, two 1,000, until right. I tell you to stop. Right, if you drop your leg, anything like that? Okay. Do you have any questions about this Absolutely test? Absolutely not. All right, tell All right. me when you're ready. You, you can begin when you're ready. One 1,000, two 1,000, three 1,000, four 1,000, five 1,000, 14 1,000, Seventy-three, one thousand, twenty-four, one thousand. All right, you can stop. Thank 25, you. Twenty-five, one thousand. You can stop. Thank you.
Her cheerfulness only faded away after failing the test. That's when her true nature surfaced. So what I want you to do is I want you to follow the tip of my pen with your eyes on it. So what I want you to try not to move your head, just move your eyes. Based on her erratic behavior and the results of the sobriety test, Mary was arrested and taken to the temporary detention center before being released on bail. She was charged with DUI and will be released on bail with a bond of $450. How did I fail this test? I'm gonna double lock you so they don't tighten up anymore on you. Okay, go back here. Yeah. Mary. Yes, sir. So, okay. The here. So, as a sergeant, I'm willing to allow him to take custody of the vehicle as long as you're in agreement with that. Yes. Before you sit down, my sergeant's going to search you, okay? Sure. Just hold on one second. I didn't f***ing fail that test. Tell me how many f***ing fat motherfuckers okay. y'all do that don't f***ing pass this shit. Good, right? you try to get like I, said, I want to call my lawyer when I get there. Okay, we do that, all right? Yep. Anthony Marchetti. All right. I think the story about her nail salon will continue for a few more months. During the time, Mary's driver's license will be kept by the police for a while. Do you agree? Let me know your thoughts below the video. Side Mary's case, let's move on to the next one. On your back. Hello, how you doing? How you doing? You have your lace registration is, is my brake laid out? Christine Askoff, 27 years old, was arrested for driving under the influence. It all started around 3.14 a.m. on July 30th, when an officer on patrol noticed a car following a dark-colored pickup truck that couldn't stay in its lane, prompting the officer to signal for a traffic stop to conduct a check. Okay. Where, yeah. where in Morristown were you? The horseshoe. The horseshoe bar. Is my brake light out on uh, the left let's side? See. It's coming up that it's, it's out. My check brake light. No, it actually looks good, yeah. Nope, it's good. Yeah, the lights are good. Your lights are good. I was worried about that, but... No, you're good, yeah. yeah. Do you have your, your stuff? Yes, Thank there you, you so go. much. No Do you have the insurance card in there, too? She was honest when admitting to drinking with the police officer. After receiving her affirmative answer, the officer returned to his vehicle to request backup to conduct a sobriety test for Christine. Did you drink tonight, Christine? Um, a couple, but not, not a lot, though. Okay. I knew I had to go home because I live far away, so... What you want? Which one are you looking for? Your insurance card. My AAA? No, no, no insurance card. Do you know what if, your your insurance? Like Geico, you have Progressive. What, what do you have? Uh, What's the current address, Christina? And you had, like you said, you had the insurance card somewhere in there. I thought I did, but I have my my AAA. What about the insurance? Like, is that is that I is that? I, be I believe it's Allstate. Allstate. You don't have the card in there, though. I do not think so. Is that actually, it's a, there's one right there on, on the, right next to you. Right there, oh, there's Allstate. I dropped it. I'm so sorry. Nope. Break tail light is out, and that's horrible. No, it's good. It's actually good. About to go on vacation, and that's out, so that's nice to know. Do you want to Nope. No, you're good. A little while later, the officer returned and asked Christine to step out of the vehicle for further investigation. Can you do me a favor? Yes. Just shut the, sh shut the car off for me? And just talk to me in the back of the car here. I just want to make sure you're okay. Yeah. Yep, you can yes, come no out for me. Thanks, Christine. No problem. You just talk to me right off the road right here, right here. And you're gonna do some balance tests for me? Okay. And then just to make sure you're okay, and then no we'll get you on your way, okay? You Where's the horseshoe bar? Where is that? In it's the, in Morristown. It's that? about, if you go across the green, yes. it's right across to the left. And what, what did you have to drink tonight? You said I had just a couple beers? Two, no, I like dirty shellies, two dirty shellies. And how long ago did you stop? Like 12 o'clock, 12.30. 12.30 in the afternoon? No, like 12.30 at night. Okay. I tried to have about two or three waters, so. Because okay. I live in Newton now, so. Yeah, so I'm it's... like 10 minutes away from Newton, so. Yeah, you're close, yeah. I guess I just want to make sure you're okay to drive. Oh, no problem. I totally get and it. Then... Christine is a polite physical education teacher, and it would be much better if she didn't make mistakes like this. Her sobriety test has begun. Do you think Christine will pass these tests? Yeah, we're all. So where are you coming from this evening? I'm going from Horseshoe and Morristown. About two to three dirty shows. Two to three shows? Yeah. And where are you heading to now? I'm going to Newton. To Newton? Yep. You can do the first test with you, Christine, and then I'll, I'll, I'll take it from you.
All right, Christine, do you have any injuries that might prevent you from doing basic balance tests? No. No? Okay. Well, I'm going to show you the starting position. Do not move out of that starting position until I tell you to do so, okay? So I want you to put your right foot in front of your left, and your hands down to your side. Now each step, you're going to do heel to toe steps. You're going to count out loud. Yeah, watch me. One, yep. two, three. For demonstration purposes, I'm going to take three. You're going to take nine. Turn around like this, counting out loud. Okay. One, two, three. Do you understand the test? Okay. You know what step you're on, Christine? Seven. Okay. Eight, nine, turn. There you go. Teach us the fucking kids every day. Nine, ten, eleven. All right, Christine, you're good. So go right here again. And you're going to choose whichever one you like, right or left. Okay. Okay, get in the starting position. It's going to be your feet together like this, arms down to your side, toes outward. You're going to count out loud. 1,001, 1,002. Thousand Look one. at the tip of your toes and don't stop until I tell you to, okay? No. Nope. No, feet together. Do the starting position. Oop. Right. Here, just move, move a little. You can do it now. One, 1,000, two, 1,000, three, 1,000, four, 1,000, nine, 1,000. The final result is that she couldn't pass the sobriety test and Christine was arrested. She was then placed in a police vehicle and taken to the police station for further processing. Okay, the last test, you're going to turn around for me? Yep. And you put your hands behind your back? Yep. Operate your vehicle, Christine, okay? You're going to come with us? Probably my phone. phone. It's like right inside on the middle console. What about your purse? I don't have a purse. Oh, okay. Yeah. And like you said, nothing on you, right, Christine? It's gonna nope. no I've weapons or anything? I have nothing. Okay. I'm just gonna check real quick your pockets You're with good. my back of my hand real You're quick, good. okay? Yep. Nothing in your pockets here. Just have a seat right in this seat right here. Get your seatbelt here. You have a right to have an attorney present during questioning. If you can't afford an attorney, won't be appointed to you. Do you understand these rights I just read to you? Yep. At the police station, Christine underwent a breathalyzer test. The Alcatus 7110 MKIC reported a breath test result of 0.15% BAC, nearly double the legal limit. Watching the double yellow coming back. Okay. I don't know Can if I you know realize that. that. Yeah. Yep. So that one. Your driver's because license. I just yeah. moved from Rockaway to Newton. You said one month ago, so you only have seven days. Okay. Careless driving, that's included with the, with the driving yes, under the influence. I understand. Yeah. Uh, and then obviously the, the driving under the influence. Okay. So just those five. Okay. So you can call them right at the top here. There's a number for the okay. courthouse. You say there might be a conflict, and okay. you'll be fine. Okay. All right. Christine was issued the following tickets driving under the influence, DUI, following too closely, traffic in marked lanes, reckless driving and failure to notify DMV of address change. She was processed and detained at the Spartatown Police Department headquarters. I think these charges should be enough for Christine to learn a valuable lesson. Do you agree? Feel free to share your thoughts by commenting below this video. Next, we encounter a dangerous fugitive criminal attempting to flee from the police. Okay, step on down. Stop or you're gonna get tased. You're gonna get tased, you're gonna get tased right? You're gonna get tased. On the evening of July 17th, get in the car! Don't move! And then get, don't don't move. move! Get that off my foot! Don't move! Put your other hand back here! Go on here. The police apprehended a dangerous suspect, identified as Jason, who was wanted at another police station. Right. Stand up. On your knees and stand up. Uh, yeah, you know how hard that is? One, two, three. Oh, okay. It all began when a police officer conducted a traffic stop on a vehicle that had disregarded a stop sign. Do you have driver's license proof insurance? They're still waiting on or having problems with the insurance company. Okay, so it's not insured right now? Not right now. <clears throat> okay. Do you have a valid license? My fiance does. Okay, but you don't? Not right now. I'm in the okay. process of getting it. So you're revoked or suspended or what are you? I'm eligible to get it back. I was suspended at one point. Okay. Where are you coming from tonight? You went from the house that was going to go to Walmart to get some shadow dressing. 
Okay. Well, somebody's going to come get you because I can't let you drive away from here, okay? So if you want to call whoever you got to call, um, work on that, okay? Upon returning from the police car, the officer received an arrest warrant for Jason from the Wisconsin Rapids Police Station. However, Jason refused to cooperate with the police and attempted to stall by calling his grandparents for assistance. Uh, you want to hop out of the car for me? May I ask why? Uh, because you have a warrant for your arrest. I'm going to ask you nicely to do so, otherwise we'll break a window and we'll remove you from the vehicle. Then Mercer is paying for the window. The thing is, that's bo it's a bogus warrant. What's he that? issued it for no reason. My fiance can even tell you the warrant that they supposedly have on me was for resisting an officer. If you refuse to get out of your vehicle and we have to forcefully remove you from the vehicle, you will be resisting. You'll get additional criminal charges for resisting. Jason, there is a proper way of, of disputing criminal charges and this is not the right way by refusing to get out of the car, okay? That, that's between you and the Wisconsin Rapids Police Department? Yeah. You've been decent with me. I think I've been decent with you, right? Can you please just step out of the vehicle and you can resolve uh, that situation? I will once my fiance gets here. Okay, that's not how this works. Jason. I don't care. If I, if I didn't care and I just wanted you to get more charges, the window would be broken, you'd be pulled out of the vehicle. It's part of the gig, okay? No, it's not. You, you're gonna be under arrest for a warrant. You have to go in handcuffs. Having to be transferred down. That, okay, there is. Do you have twenty five hundred dollars? How much? Do you have twenty five hundred dollar bond? My grandparents might. I will give you an opportunity to call them and figure that out. But you have to step out of the vehicle. If you don't step out, then you're going to be transported to the jail, and then you can make phone calls. I'm okay. I'm going to be transported to the freaking jail. So who's who came here? The, your grandparents? Uh, I don't see them. Okay, yeah. step on out then. Somebody just showed up. After his two family members arrived. Jason decided to attempt to flee on foot from the officers, initiating a pursuit on foot. The pursuit quickly ended when the officer drew their taser. Set your stuff on the seat for right now. Seriously? Set the stuff on the seat for right now. Stop. No. Okay, step on down. Stop or you're gonna get tased. You're gonna get tased, you're right? You're gonna get tased. For threes in foot pursuit. Jason, stop. You're not gonna win. Gray shirt, shorts, hat. You won, he's coming back. Stop. Get out of the ground. I have a marathon. Get out of the ground. Get in the car. Don't move. Can I get, Don't can I move. Get that off my foot. Don't move. Put your other hand back in. Get inside your car or you're getting arrested. Go on your side. Ow. 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 Before you check, you got anything on you that you shouldn't have? No. You guys are always this rough. On your side. I'm trying. Right. Jason was arrested and taken to the hospital for medical examination before being taken to jail for the warrant. He was fined for driving while suspended, no vehicle insurance, and failure to stop at a stop sign. Jason was charged with resisting or obstructing an officer and sentenced to two years of probation. All right, so one probe right there. Where's the other one? I don't know. All right, so I'm going to pull these out. It's going to be a quick pinch, so I'm going to hold your skin back so it doesn't pull in and pull them out, okay? All right, stand up. On your knees and stand up. Uh, yeah, you know how hard that is? Right. One, two, three. Oh, oh yeah. I can't move. Move in. Ow, ow. All I know is I need a new pair of boxers. Why is that? Calling for a Mind it. Myself. Okay. Well, Jason, now you're getting those resisting charges you talked about, okay? Put your left foot in. That's what I'm trying. Right foot all the way in. I know. I'm trying to catch my breath. I personally wonder, how can criminals think they can escape the law? Do you think the judge's two-year probation sentence will help Jason become a better citizen? Or should he receive a different penalty? Comment 1 if you think the judge's sentence is appropriate. Comment 0 if you think you should receive additional punishment. If you choose 0, could you suggest some penalties you think might be appropriate? To conclude today's video, we'll delve into the case of a woman who dares to physically assault and verbally abuse the police. Push me hard, bro. You just push me hard. Come here. What are you talking about, nigga? What are you talking about, nigga? An officer conducted a traffic stop on a speeding car, and the officer observed that the owner of the vehicle appeared to be attempting to flee from police pursuit. 
Thank you. Is this your vehicle? This is mine. I'll look at your insurance or registration. Registration and insurance. Not an ID. That's an ID card. Is it insured, registered, and everything? Yes. Okay. I'll make it easy on you. We'll go look it up right back here, okay? okay? And then I can get you guys out of here. I had my police lights activated. My sirens were going. I even told my dispatch that you were running from me. I ran from you? Yes, ma'am. I was just going my speed. That's what I was doing. Oh, did you see that big semi truck that you almost hit? No. Yes, ma'am. Did you see my lights? I did, yes. Whenever you pulled me over, yes. No, at, at what point did you see them? Whenever you pulled me over, yes. Uh, how much have you drank tonight? Um, one shot. Okay. I don't think so. When you got out of the car, I saw your, your balance is a little weary. Are you okay? Yes, I am okay. Do you have any injuries or anything I need to know no, about? sir. You had a beer and a shot. It wasn't a shot, but it was inside the beer. Okay. Where are you headed tonight? I'm going home. Home? Yes, Is sir. that at the Louisiana residence? Yes, sir. Okay. The female driver refused to cooperate during the inspection process and she was also not sober enough to pass this test. So Ms. Adamio, just judging by your driving tonight, I need to check you to make sure you're safe to drive, okay? okay. I'm gonna be checking your eyes. Do you have contacts in your eyes tonight? No. Any recent, no, sir. Any recent head trauma, traumatic brain injuries? Yes. What do you got? Accident, two months ago. Okay, so you don't have any long lasting effects? That's what they said. Okay, so like a car accident? Yes, sir. Okay, did, did they diagnose you with anything? No, it's fine. I'm gonna have you stand like me, toes touching, feet together, arms by your side, just like this. Throughout this test, stare at the tip of my finger, moving your eyes and your eyes only. Do not move your head. Okay. Follow the tip of my finger, moving your eyes and your eyes only. If that becomes a problem tonight, let me know, okay? Okay. I'm gonna be asking you to do some walking, turning, and balancing tonight. Okay. I'm gonna have you imagine a four inch wide line, okay? Okay. That four inch wide line is gonna extend from your right foot completely straight to the back of your car. Okay. Do not move or start the test until I tell you to do so. Okay. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Why don't you take your left foot, place it on that four inch wide line, just like me. Your, your line will go this way, okay. okay? Take your left foot, place it on that line. Now right foot in front of your left, heel to toe touching. Arms by your side, watch me. One two three but on your ninth you'll plant your lead foot you will then continue down the line nine heel to toe steps one two three do you understand the turn yes sir okay go ahead begin off five nine ma'am stops walking normal improper turn she was arrested and put into a vehicle to be transported to the station for a breathalyzer test Face my windshield. Face oh. my windshield. Don't move. Place your other hand behind your back. Ms. Hadamio, take two steps back. Face my windshield. Okay, ma'am, you're going to be placed under arrest for driving while under the influence tonight, okay? Can you get my phone? It's in my car. Yes, ma'am. Widen your stance. Okay. Walk around the side of my car. I'm going to give you a little room. Keep going. Have a seat. You said your phone is in your... Front seat. Okay. The blatant defiance towards the police, she thinks she won't end up in jail for her wrongdoing? It's simply unbelievable. She's charged with aggravated DWI and resisting arrest. All right, ma'am. One big steady breath, blow into the machine until you hear no noise. Okay, so turn, face me. One big breath, blow until you do not hear noise. Big breath and blow. I'm not gonna play games if you're not gonna blow. I don't have my glasses on, so I can't see you. Surely, We're not gonna so blow. Gonna look at you, like. If you're not gonna blow, if you're not gonna provide a breath sample tonight, I'm gonna charge you with aggravated DWA. Okay. Okay. How long am I under this? Probably till tomorrow. So right now is the time to blow. And then if I don't, then I will be charging with aggravated DWA. And then how long? Well, this thing has a time limit. Once it times out, I will be charging with aggravated DWA. Much harder than that, ma'am. That's has. I have asthma, so sorry. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. I'm telling you, I have asthma. Kay. Right? Right? Blow I'm as, telling you. Blow as hard I, as you can. I have asthma. Where are your cameras? Sit down and blow. Where are your cameras? Right here. Okay. I have asthma. I have asthma. Blow. Keep blowing until you do not hear noise. You are not blowing hard enough. Like I said, I'm not going to play games. Kay? I said I have asthma. I've had 90 year old people sit down and blow into this I machine. I said I have asthma. That's fine. Sit down. You just pushed me hard, bro. Stand you up. just pushed me hard. Come in here. What are you talking about? You get it? What are you talking about? You get it? After watching these cases, do you have any opinions on their penalties? Do you think these charges are truly fitting for their crimes?
And if you believe these charges are too lenient for these suspects, you can leave a comment about some charges you think of. We appreciate your contributions. Through the above cases, surely you can know that the consequences of DUI are extremely great, not only endangering your own safety, but also endangering the lives of everyone around you. To prevent and minimize the serious consequences of this crime, there needs to be an emphasis on increasing education and creating effective sanctions. We hope you the videos we create will contribute to the process of reducing the number of DUI crimes. In a world that's constantly advancing, Thank you for your there's support always a subset of individuals whose beliefs diverge from the mainstream. They hold the belief that they are superior to the law. And today, we will explore this matter further through the perspectives of a few prominent. Let's begin. You are going to comply. You are not going to pull away from me. In the first scenario, we encounter a 21-year-old young woman who believes she is above the law after brutally assaulting her boyfriend. Stop! Help her. On July 20th, the police were present at the scene responding to a report of violence between a married couple in Sparta. The woman attempted to flee as soon as she saw the police car pull up, but reality doesn't always unfold the way criminals hope. Stand there. Okay, I won't. Stand there. Stand there. Do it now. I can't breathe. Nicole was arrested after a short chase. Perhaps the phrase, I can't breathe, is the slogan every time a suspect is apprehended, I always hear them say it. Put your other hand behind your back. I can't like this. This woman is truly terrifying. After her violent actions, she then plays the victim when handcuffed by the police. Miss, is this your house? <laughs> Can you sit up? Can you sit on your butt? Okay, sit up. Is there anybody else inside right now? Are you are you hurt at all, Miss? I don't know what's behind that. Stand up, please. Do not pull away from me. You are under arrest. You are going to comply. You are not going to pull away from me. Stand here. I do not know what's inside of here. Just relax. Well. Nicole just assaulted a young man, then kicked a police officer, but wore a badge saying, I am a woman, you are a man, and you are not allowed to touch me. She clearly sees herself as entitled, above the law. What is your name, miss? I don't have a fucking name. Okay. Stop trying to pull away from me. My okay? hair's in my goddamn mouth, Relax. dude. Go. Fucking asshole. I love you. I love you. What are we doing here? <laughs> Oh my fucking god! Oh my god! 
I know. That's why I'm trying to face the car. Hold still. Hold still, please. No, you're not supposed to be doing that. Then stop fighting. You're a man. You cannot Shit. touch me. You need to get her over here. You cannot. Stop it. Stop fucking touching. Stop. Don't you kick me or you're going to go to the ground again. Get over here. If you kick me, you're going to go face down into the ground. You can't search her because she keeps squirming at me. Yeah, you can't search me. You're right. You're not a female. It doesn't matter. Do this. You can't say I did it when I did not do it, dumbass. You didn't stop. Stop. This is hot after chasing after you, too. Okay, scoot your feet in. Or is she gonna shut the door? The police took statements from the witnesses around after putting the suspect in the car. What did you see here? So, I was sitting in front of my window and basically she was all over him. He didn't really do anything. Okay. Like but she kept grabbing him, ripped his shirt open, kept jumping on top of him, trying to get him to the ground. They finally did get to the ground, <clears throat> but then came back up. What drew your attention to him? Well, at first, I'm like, are they just screwing around? Yeah. Because she was all over him. Then she kept Last grabbing at his Kingdom, throat. Charles, Adam, and like, Mary, I'm Paul, calling Tom, Ocean, Nora, first of Nicole. So, I mean, I can't. Based on the witness statements and the admitted acts of violence by the young man, Nicole will be taken to the police station for further processing. These statements will become incriminating evidence against her in court. Did you get out the door or the window? I got out the door. Okay. She eventually just opened the door and let me go out. Okay. I, went, I went out into the garage, just grabbed my cigarettes and stuff. She came out, started reaching in my pockets as if she was going to grab something. What happened when you guys are out here on the street? Uh, just, she just kept trying to grab my stuff. She ripped open your shirt? Or... That was in the garage. Okay. We pushed each other a little bit. Early. I don't know, I get lost in the moment. Okay. And what was all this about? Oh. Something as simple as she thinks I'd rather play games and spend time. She's the person where when she's angry, she needs a minute. And I, I can't give the minute, I just want to resolve. Nicole was charged with felony battery to an officer and misdemeanor counts of resisting, disorderly conduct, and possession of drug paraphernalia. Most of the charges were dismissed except for disorderly conduct and resisting. The judge stated Nicole will be eligible for expungement after one year if no new charges and fines are paid in full. What do you think about this case? Please leave your opinion after researching the issue. Closing situation one. Let's move on to the next character. They're different. Oh, I won't leave you. Rhonda, 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 We can't. Rhonda, I won't leave. 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 Rhonda. On November 22nd, Police were called to a motel where it was reported that a disturbance had been caused by a guest. Hi! What's going on? Alaskan police? Yes! Come on in! What's going on today? What's your pale leg? I got a lot going on this year. I don't want no ass <laughs> microwave end up on the floor. What's your name? You the one on the news, ain't you? No. Yes, you is! <laughs> okay. Officer Mike. What is your name? You lying to me. I'm Rhonda. What is it? Rhonda. Rhonda. What? Well, this is my stuff here, my dear. Right. Well, let me know what's recording me oh. in your face. As soon as they made contact, the police realized she seemed to be under the influence of a substance causing erratic behavior and unclear speech. Rhonda also broke into the manager's residence, causing strange noises. I'm in there trying to cook. She's come in here at least three times. So everybody's upset with me because she came in. Yeah. Well, you guys know how I am. I'm not, I can't be mean to people. Now, okay, you need to go because i got to cook for my family. I'm yeah. trying to cook. You know, she got kind of crazy. Well, I'm living here. The little ghost came in. Who did? The ghost. Okay. The spirits. Come in here, breathe your did you here. Did you get rid of the spirits? I did. I did. She said, come with me. So she drug me to the room. When I walk in there, Microwaves on the ground busted, there's a cooler. The reason to account for Rhonda's abnormal behavior is that she had been drinking alcohol previously. She told me she was drinking earlier when she came in to talk to me the first time. Yeah. She did tell me, she says, I just want to be honest with you and tell me. I tried to. Okay, and how'd that work? <laughs> Look at my, oh, I promise my daddy and my mama wouldn't do that. Do you how much have you drank today? Right are, you, are you taking Delta 8 today? What's Delta 8? Not out. today, cause look. I don't think you're a threat to yourself or anybody else right now. No, because I'm not. No. Are you on a no drink? <laughs> 
Are you on a bond? No. No. I'm on a bond, but not a no drink bond. Fighting white people. Fighting white people? Yeah. Why? Because y'all be on my f nerve. Okay. Rhonda. Oh, here come this big motherfucker. <laughs> See, he know me. Come in and shit. Oh, you doing okay there, Rhonda? Please, y'all, I'm sorry. You okay? Such has been drinking. I'm clean up, but for real, yo. I'm not sure she's taking no, I no, I did. Like I'm trying to tell y'all that microwave, bro. I'm for real, I ain't do that when I know I need that. According to the description given by the female manager, Rhonda exhibited signs of being mentally unstable, and she had started using one of the medications she had. What is it for? My nerve pain. Started taking it, or you started taking it improperly? Today, you were snorting yeah, it? Yeah, today, yeah, I was okay. snorting. How do you I feel? Snort. How do you feel right now? I feel damn good. Okay. Because I do it all the time. Sure. So why y'all trying to come and arrest me? No, 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 no one's just... arresting you right now. Oh, you're shit. Right here, here. Didn't I just see you in court the other day? Oh, you did. Yeah. We didn't talk or anything, I just saw you across the aisle. And what did the judge say? Huh? Well, I was there for a different guy and he didn't show up, so I got to leave. Everybody that was in there. Yeah, everybody's got their own issues. It was an example of preliminary hearing. Yes, it was. <laughs> Get your ass out of here. Bag out! Rhonda! Bag! I ain't destructing shit. I ain't doing nothing. Rhonda, return what? Oh, hell no! Nah. Rhonda, if they're prescribed to you, they're your meds, my dear. Okay, so why the okay. f*** y'all still in my room? Oh, was the microwave is it high a minute? Was it an accident? It was an accident. Good. No, no, lady, please don't. Rhonda, what's I going on? To you. I thought you didn't like me. Hey, I'm gonna have to take care of me. They're different. Oh, I won't leave you. Rhonda, 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 Okay. Rhonda. You need, if you need the help, get the help. No, Miss. They did. Calm down. I'm, I, I was leaving. As the officers continued to question her, she became agitated and even attacked the officers around her. No, Rhonda, you gotta Rhonda, open let it. Us in. Okay, I will. Let, let okay. me in. Let me in. Open the door, sweetie. Thank you. Thank you. You know I'm here to help you. Okay. Who's scared? What are you scared of? Yeah. Of of us. Okay. Yeah, yeah, the belief. Okay. They was rolling on every time and I, they deleted that shit. They deleted that shit. Rhonda, I'm not the you, chief. I'm not the chief, sweetheart. I don't give a f about you being the chief lady. Okay. It's, it's, it's. What I'm concerned it, about today? It'll be 12 years old. What is? The case about my son. Okay, I don't know your son. Did your pharmacist or doctor ever recommend you to snort it? No, they didn't recommend me. Why Why snort it versus just taking the- Because I want to get rid of the pain! Mentally and physically! Y'all kill my son! Okay, we're done. No, 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 we're done. Okay, I'm sorry. We're done. I'm not, okay. I'm sorry, just can I sit down? Just we're relax, okay. just relax. Okay, I'll relax. Donna, do you want first responders? You have to. No, I'm asking you. It's law. It's not law. That's why I'm asking. It is. So what are you handcuffing me for? Because I can't breathe. Right now, it's yeah. disorderly conduct. So, so the doctors Look don't. At it. The doctors no, don't prescribe it to you though to snort them. Okay, they. Look at it. We're gonna walk out here. Do you want us to lock it behind you, Rhonda? Where's my key? Where's your mom? Where's Miss? Where y'all taking me to? Come on, Rhonda, we're going to jail. He's right there. Okay. Lacrosse County. I'm jail, going to jail. Yep. Yep. Rhonda was arrested and taken to a police car to be transported back to where she belongs. It must be acknowledged that she has mental health issues, but spitting in the face of officers only adds to her charges. They are jumping for what though? I already explained it to you. No, you did. You cannot snort your prescription medication. It'll be a lot easier. There you go, now jump up in there. Can you put your foot on the seat? Sit down. We're done with this shit. Your robo cop look nasty instead of telling me b Just spit on an officer. To kill my son and hang him I in the tree. I know nothing tree. about that. Just spit on both of us. Alright, I got wipes if you want them. Rhonda, take a breath. Rhonda. No, she's just kind of... I don't think she'll be safe outside, like on the ground and next to the car. No. Rhonda. Rhonda. Hey, it's Officer Myers. Can I see you? Can I see your face? Are you okay? <laughs> take a deep breath. Take a, take a deep breath. Roll that other window down. Stand up. I don't we don't, we don't want to get spit on. Okay? Um, That's I'm, disgusting. Okay. No, no. Stop locking me in this. Rhonda is charged with felony assault on a law enforcement officer by spitting bodily fluid twice, bail jumping, and several misdemeanors including criminal mischief, disorderly conduct, 
About a month later, she was convicted only of felony criminal mischief. All other charges were dropped. However, Rhonda still received a sentence for her actions, which is 108 days in county jail. People like Rhonda are the reason why we need to renovate and reopen all mental institutions. They are vulnerable individuals who need somewhere to go, a place where they can receive the care they need. Do you think renovating and rebuilding mental institutions is necessary or not? If you think it is necessary, comment, yes. Otherwise, comment, no. We greatly appreciate your input. Is this this is not my human human. Stop. Now we'll move on to the last case of the day. A woman who believes she has higher authority than the law in public places. On the morning of July 7th, Lee County Port Authority personnel were present on a Delta flight to address a disruptive female passenger. She's a representative of the aircraft. They don't want you flying on their plane today, okay? So you're going to have to get actually, off the aircraft. Actually, they made us wait and wait and wait. So I'm going to need you to grab your bag and just and step off the aircraft. And I did not do aircraft. anything, actually. Disrespect. We'll talk about Disres it outside. Disruptive besides speak my mind. The disruptive woman on the plane was identified as Adelaide Gabriel Schroing, 23 years old. A flight attendant also mentioned that the female passenger had caused disturbances and witnessed her spitting at other passengers on the plane. Oh, Calm down. No, you know Listen that. To me. Grab no, your bag. You know that. You know that. I don't have to put your hands on Grab me. your bag. No, I will grab my bag. But you don't want to sit here and sit up. You grab won't. your bag and yeah, just step yeah, off you here. won't. Okay, but I yes. need you to get up. No. Okay. You need me to get up? No, I'm gonna do Hold what I need to do. I'm gonna say what I need to do. And if you, you're gonna do whatever you feel you need okay. to do to me, right? To everybody. Stand up, man. Yeah, everybody is you're doing this. You're gonna get arrested if you do not I'm stop. I'm already gonna get arrested. I'm gonna ask you, you one more time, and then I'm gonna have to put my but hands on you, okay? For what reason? Because no, you're not no, listening. Let me ask you that. Why do you have a right to put your hands on me, though? Okay, let's go, Ruth. Come on. No, That's why it. do you have a right to put your hands man. on me? After the officers requested Adelaide to gather her belongings to leave the plane, she disregarded the authorities' request, loudly arguing about her rights as the officers attempted to escort her off the aircraft. Perhaps she will feel ashamed when reviewing the video of her unreasonable demands in front of the court. Can you just help me to understand as a, as a human that is alive, why, why do you, can you just tell me that? Like, I'm actually asking you as At a person. At this point, here's what's happening. They're going to deplane the aircraft. I'm going to take you off. Yeah. But if you're not going to, trust yeah. that. Right now, they're going to deplane. As soon as they deplane, you're going to jail, okay? You see how that's a threatening system? That's the way it that's is, man. That's not cool. Are you I want to trust you. You want to trust me? That's not cute. Let's go. Off the plane. Off the gonna, can I trust you? Listen, have I touched you yet? I'm trying to get you off the aircraft. That's all we're trying to do. Concerned about the negative impact on other passengers, the officers compelled Adelaide to leave the flight and proceeded to arrest her. So you as a cop should have to honor that. Yes, right? Yes. right? No, like you should though. That, we're getting to the point where you're not expect, you're not respecting my human rights let's as go. a constitution. Oh, I didn't do anything that did anything to you. No, man, that's not okay. No, you you really didn't. I talked back to you and I was calm. Okay. Have to be like that. Come with me. I wasn't doing it. Come with me. No, man. That's not, not real, man. That's Just grab her bag. Yeah, there? yeah, she had a green backpack. The officers stated that she continued to curse at them after being handcuffed and taken to the patrol unit, then transferred to the Lee County Jail. Really not. I am not a person hurting anybody. I'm a person hurting. No, guys, not guys. No. Interference with flight operations and That's what you're getting arrested for. No, that's that's just wow. No, Everybody? with you two, yes, not with you, because you're a liar. Okay. No, he said he literally, the reason he has me arrested right now is you didn't have masks no. on. No, can I say something before anybody takes me out so that I can just say what I have to say? I, I will, I will do what y'all want me to do out. because yeah. I'm here now. Matter about that, what matters is that you have an unjust officer that's abusing hey. his power and you need to hey. know that Timothy, you, you made eye contact with me before I ever got on that plane. You acknowledge the fact that you hey. weren't wearing a mask. She was charged with failure to wear a mask on the flight amidst the COVID-19 pandemic, as well as resisting an officer and interfering with the operation of the aircraft. 
She was sentenced to 16 days in jail at Lee County Jail before being bailed out with a bond of $65,000. In the context of the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic, not wearing a mask has significant implications for the surrounding community, even the entire country. Do you think the sentence was appropriate for her irresponsible behavior or not? Don't forget to leave your feedback below the video. Through the various cases mentioned above, we can see that the mindset of standing above the law held by these individuals stems from both objective and subjective reasons. It could be influenced by their environment or their mental health, leading them to believe they are above others. Most importantly, we can contribute to changing the mindset of many who think this way by sharing legal videos like this one as a warning of the consequences for everyone involved. I hope the information in this video aligns with the topics you're exploring. Thank you for taking the time to watch our video. Goodbye and see you in the next one.